Well, I'm with Craig Shannon of Giftnick North, uh, athlete who's been picked by GB in Northern Ireland for the World Cross coming up. Just tell me how excited you are about it, Craig. Yeah, very, very excited to represent GB for the first time. Uh, I've been really something I've wanted to do for a while. Like as I started the sport, it's something that I've really wanted to, you know, to run for a GB team. Um, and to be at a World Champs is, is really is really cool. Well, we know you by reputation uh, in Scotland, a significant number of victories at Falkirk over the years in the National Cross Country. But this time you went down to the inter-counties and you, you battled it out there to win that selection. How difficult was it at Nottingham? Yeah, I mean, running up Gage Group was quite tough because the guys uh, the guys have not really raced that much. Um, so I didn't really know how I was fair because across the season I've just been running for U17s. So it was quite tough and the guys were quite like, you know, it's tough for competition, but I think it really got the best out of me and um, able to just see what I could do, just try and keep on to the front guys for as long as I could, um, which really just got the best out of me. Well, that was you selected, of course, at under 20, you should have mentioned that. And, and do you know much about Belgrade or anything about what the, what the course will be like over there? No, I, honestly, I know nothing. Like, um, I've not even, I know it's 8K, but I've not even looked at the course map or anything. Um, I think I, we're going out a couple of days before, so I think we'll do a wee recce of the course probably, um, and just see see what it's looking like. But I don't. Um, I'll, I'll probably won't be in the lead, so I don't really have to worry too much about knowing the knowing the course that well. Tell me how long you've been in the sport, Craig. Um, probably since about under eleven, so you're talking what six years, seven years, so quite a while. Uh, through with Gifford North all the way through. Um, lucky to have such a good club. Um, at like since I've been a junior, just my local club has just been lucky just to have such a strong club. And imagine someone like Neil Gourley is a real inspiration to you. Yeah, I mean, Neil is like the guy that we all look up to because looking at the world level, when you see like the, the Kenyans and the Ethiopians and whatnot, you're like, can I really can I really be like that? But then when you see Neil being up at the top level, you know, like, right, he's he went to the same high school as me. So, you know, like, right, if someone like he can be up there competing, like running, what, 330, 1500, like, we can all do it. Um, so it really puts into perspective, like we could, we could be a pro if we really, you know, put our put our heads down type thing. Um, Were you there last week when he popped by the club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there doing an easy run that night. So he was, he was there. I was chatting to him about his training and whatnot, and how he's getting back into fitness, ready for the, the British trials, uh, ready to get going there. Um, and when I was away, um, sorting my stuff out for the university in America, he was uh, telling me kind of stuff to look out for on my visits and stuff so it was uh, it was good and he's, he's a really helpful guy like he's such a really nice guy and just just helps everyone at the club so much brilliant thanks Craig cheers thank you